Hi there, and welcome to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fawn. And I'm Brittany Flowers. You know, we're two days away. We two. are gearing up for Thanksgiving. We are going to be enjoying some time off. Yeah. You're headed to see some family, going right? To Indiana. Indiana. No cooking for me. Nice. Just eating. Nice. Mm -hmm. I have some family coming in, so I will cooking be doing it the cooking. And if you are hosting, you're probably going over your list of things that you need. And cooking a turkey for your family and friends can be stressful, especially if you have a lot of people coming and they're, they're We've all they're seen the failed videos. <laughs> <laughs> it better be beautiful. Mm -hmm. But as it does every year, the Butterball Hotline is available if you get into a bind. Since 1981, the Butterball Hotline has been answering and soothing every kind of question out there of that you could ever think about, about cooking a turkey. So on Thanksgiving Day alone, they receive about 10,000 calls I from people. I can see it. 10,000 calls Easy. on Thanksgiving alone. Mm -hmm. Calls are pretty straightforward, and others are, well, a little strange. So we have a couple of odd ones that, yes. we, that we found out about. Okay. One is, is it okay to quickly thaw my turkey using, insert weird thing here. Yes. <laughs> They forgot to thaw oh, the turkey. Oh my gosh! Could you? That's totally something I would do. Right. Absolutely, without a doubt. Yeah, that I morning go. That. Oh Whoops. yeah! I it's knew I frozen. was forgetting something. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the restaurant. <laughs> that's what I would do. Right. Callers to Butterball sometimes get a little desperate when they find out that their turkey is still frozen on Thanksgiving Day. Examples of trying to quickly thaw a turkey include thawing a turkey in the bathtub, uh, in a heating blanket. <laughs> On a clothesline, which I'm not sure is even possible. <laughs> what? That's like a 20 pound turkey. <laughs> on a clothesline. And in the dishwasher, what? That, that? Come on, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, next odd question. Okay. I left my turkey in the car overnight. Is it still okay to eat? I can see that. Totally forgot to bring it in from last night's trip to the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've done that before. Yeah. Uh, this guy left his, call, his turkey in the car overnight and didn't want his wife to know. <laughs> So the caller was from Florida, so the talk line expert said it probably wasn't. Oh, Florida? Yeah, safe definitely to not. To eat. So yeah. probably you want to throw that one away. Depends on the state. Right. So, <laughs> exactly. Like, right. Yeah. If you're in Buffalo, New York, maybe you might have to thaw it's out. It's probably your better for you to leave it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the next one is I left the bird in a snowbank to thaw, and now I can't find it. How do I find it? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Buy a turkey call. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe. And if it answers, it's fresh. Yeah. <laughs> it's really fresh. All right. The number, if you're curious, is 1 800 Butterball, or you can log on to butterball.com. They have recipes, they have all sorts of wonderful information on there. Yes. Well, speaking mm -hmm. of, the holidays can be stressful, especially if you are hosting guests like Natalie is. That's why Bob Evans also and the Emily Post Institute have teamed up to offer a holiday, a holiday helpline to answer your hospitality and entertaining questions during Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Eve. For assistance, you can call 855-4-MY-TABLE Wednesday at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and on Thanksgiving Day from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So that one is um, not just with the turkey. That one's so with... So that's just all... Do you, do you put your fork on the left side or the, the right side when you're setting your table? So all hospitality questions, which I feel like that could definitely come in handy because maybe Absolutely. you got the turkey down, the food's ready to go, but you're wondering, you know, Especially what should I do for my like, guests? Yeah, you're entertaining people for the first time. Yeah. Like, you know, you're future in law exactly yes and you want to look like you know what you're talking about yes and you go oh no and you don't want to do this at the table you know this rule the the no, I don't B, know. okay I don't know that it's rule. backwards for you but for us it's a, okay. so B for bread so your bread is on this side and then D for drink you put your drinks on this side <gasps> I love that thank you I do know that you go from the outside in yeah so like salad soup and you work your way in. Yes. I do not know that much. But I always forget about the drink. Yeah. I'll just have to be cool. I do this at the table. I sit down and I go, all right, let's see here. <laughs> okay, everyone. Got it. We are all right. Yes. Okay, so last week we shared a beautiful Christmas commercial for Heathrow Airport. And we said we would be sharing great commercials as we saw them. And we have a new one. This one is for Amazon. Take a look.
People have been taking to social media to praise Amazon for this holiday ad featuring two old friends meeting for a cup of tea and bonding over their bad knees. The goal of this ad was to show that people from different backgrounds, different faiths can share gifts and they can get together. So again, we want to remind you guys, we want to see your favorite holiday ads. Um, so share them with us on the Facebook. We'd love to see them. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're great. Are you tearing up? I know, right now. Oh my gosh, Not at I all. Love it. No, I got stuff in my eye. <laughs> okay, well. Don't worry, you can tear up for joy because of this. We are fast approaching the holiday gift giving season. And if you're looking for a perfect housewarming gift this holiday season, be sure to check out the Roanoke Landmark Ornaments from the Virginia Ornament Company. These Roanoke Landmark Ornaments are perfect for decorating your tree, give as gifts, or even display in your home. The Mill Mountain Star Ornament celebrates Roanoke's biggest, most famous feature. The Dr. Pepper sign is also memorialized in this collection of quality ornaments. All products are proudly made in the USA. And these ornaments are available locally at Two and a Half Sisters on Colonial Avenue, across from Tower Shopping Center. You can also order yours online right now by visiting virginiaornamentsco.com or call 540-774-6266. And new this year, right here, the Mill Mountain Zoo Ornament. So be sure to get yours today.